All right, welcome back to Photoshop. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do a watercolor text effect. Now there are a couple different ways to do this. This is just the way I prefer. It's a little bit more time consuming than some other ways, but kind of once you've got these watercolor templates, it's easy to kind of pull them from your archives and just use them over and over and over again. Now, one easy thing you need to do is I have opened up this paper. This is a watercolor paper texture. I'm gonna have the link below. You can easily down this. What you wanna do is you wanna come up here and go to edit and then down to define pattern. What this will do is allow you to save in Photoshop a pattern of this texture. I called mine watercolor paper, but I'm not gonna resave it because I don't wanna duplicate, but then you would hit okay. Now, once you've done that, now you can start the effect. We can just open up a file. So I'll just open up a new file. And then what I wanna do is go to either shift delete, which is what I normally would hit, but you can go to edit fill. And here you can see I've got patterns selected. And in that pattern, I can select that watercolor paper and then hit okay. And bam, just like that, we've got that watercolor paper on this file. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command J, which is to duplicate that file. So I'm gonna have my background file and this file, and I wanted to duplicate that. This is where I'm gonna create my watercolor, but before I create the watercolor, I wanna know what size I need it. Now, this isn't something you have to do. You can automatically come in here and create a whole bunch of different little watercolor styles on here, you'll see in a second, and then you can just apply them to the text. So create a whole bunch, save them, and then it's really easy to just come here and apply those to a text effect. So we're coming here and you can pick any font you want. We'll just see what we have up here. So watercolor, text, effect. And you wanna find a text that you think works good with this. We're just gonna go ahead and use this. Now at this point, I have this bright green color. It doesn't matter what color your text is because we're not gonna end up using this part of the file anyways. I'm just gonna go ahead and lower the opacity of this so I can kind of see where the watercolor effect is, but I also wanna see this. We're gonna come down to this layer. And what you wanna do is you wanna slide on over to this right here, which is your brush tool. Now, once you've selected your brush tool, we're gonna to come up and select a new brush. So we're gonna click the brush, come up here, and you're gonna have a whole bunch of brushes. By default, Photoshop does have a couple watercolor brushes. So we have a round watercolor brush, a watercolor brush, a watercolor wash brush. So by default, there are a couple watercolor brushes that you can use. However, there's all kinds of different watercolor brushes that you can also download and use. So I can come in here and you can see I've got all these different types of watercolor brushes. So I can come in here and use one of the brushes that I have. And then when I paint that, you can see this watercolor brush does a whole bunch of drops. In this case, I'm not gonna use the drops right now, but this is kind of a cool spatter of fleck that you can use once you have your text down. We're just gonna Command Z and go back out of that. And I will just come in here and just pick the first brush and that should be pretty good. All right, we are gonna make this a little bit smaller. And the first thing you wanna do is pick the top color of what you want. So I'll just come in here and pick a darker blue, but I don't want that vibrant, and that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is just kind of whoosh, that little watercolor effect right there. Now, maybe I want this transition period right through the watercolor, so I can easily do that. I can come at this like this, and then maybe I wanna do a different color. Now, you could do the same color or different colors. It doesn't really make a difference. We'll come in here and we'll pick kind of a lighter orangey That looks pretty good. So we'll come over and then we'll just kind of go over this effect here. So we got some orange and some yellow in this image. So we're going like this. And then maybe we want to come back with a little bit darker. We have some darker orangish yellow right there. All right, and let's assume this is exactly how we want our watercolor to look like. It doesn't make a difference what you like or what you don't like. Just go ahead, keep trying until you get something that you like. Then what you wanna do is come up to the text file. 
and you want to select that and you're going to hold down either the command button on a Mac or the control button and click this little T. And when you do that, it's going to make a selection of the text. You want to go down to the watercolor layer, highlight that, and then as simply as click this mask button, bam, just like that, there's your watercolor fact that you did inside of Photoshop. Now this is its own file. This is just a background right here. So you could actually take this and place it on another file if you want, or you could simply just leave it on this watercolor paper. All right, once you've created this mask, now we still have the text layer on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this off and then we're gonna get that sort of color that we have above. If you want to move your colors around because you don't like the placement of them, you need to unlink your file so that the mask does not move with the color. And then you can simply just go in here and you need to select the correct layer. You can come in here and you can move this around and you will be able to get different looks within that image. Now I've lost a little bit in the R over here so I can slide this over to the right. And we'll just assume that that looks pretty good. We've lost a little bit here, but I'm gonna be fine with this now. The last thing you can do, if you wanna adjust the color because you don't like the color, you can easily come up to your hue saturation. You need to clip this layer to the bottom layer because otherwise it will affect the background layer, which we don't. So we're gonna go in between the layers, hold the Alt button, click, and we are clipping that file. I'll hit Command Z. You can also clip a file by going out into the space, right clicking, and then you wanna go create clipping mask. That's the same way to do the same effect. And then we can come in here and we can adjust this hue saturation and make this color whatever we want. I'm just gonna hit Command Z. We're gonna leave it as is, but if you do wanna change the color, that's a really easy way to get different looks from the same file. The last step that we can do here, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm actually gonna move this layer under this layer. So I don't want this layer applying up here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to the brush and we're gonna click on that. And this time we're gonna pick one of those drop splatter buttons and we're gonna come out here and then we can come here. We can try some different effects. I think we're gonna do some, maybe some more of this blue here. do that color that's good enough now you want to play around with this I've got mine so my brush kind of constantly changes as I click it but basically I'm going to come here and start clicking that effect to kind of get some different looks and let's say that's exactly how I want it I can come in here lower the opacity of this layer and we've got a little bit of that kind of washed out watercolor splatter over or really underneath the text effect that we have here if you wanted that to be on top, you just need to move that above these files and then it will look like it's on top of the text instead of behind the text. All right, I forgot one little part of this tutorial, so we're just gonna take a step back, but this is really easy. Right here we have the watercolor text effect, but the edges are sort of hard in this image. It's really easy to fix. All you need to do is come over here, select the mask, Come out here, double click, that's gonna bring up layer style. And then on your layer style, what you wanna do is you wanna come down to inner glow, select inner glow, and just move your size over to somewhere as much as you think you need. So the more that you do the inner glow, the more it's gonna kinda of wash that out. Usually I'm up around 15 or so like that. So we're gonna inner glow that, and that is gonna look good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And that is gonna kind of soften those edges to make them look like they're been brushed on versus that clean, hard edge. So if you want this kind of washed out edge look, that's all you need to do is go into your layer style and add an inner glow. And that's how you do the watercolor text effect inside of Photoshop. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.